format. In Japan, manga is generally drawn on B4 format, but depending on where you want to publish or whether you want to self-publish, the measures can be different. So if you want to work for a certain publisher, you have to find out what format they use. Information like that is usually found on their website in the submission section or can be requested by email. For instance, the publishers that I worked for use different formats and spacing. Similarly, printing companies may be using different formats. It is generally cheaper to print in a widely used format instead of a special format. So when you self-publish, you might want to keep the costs low and use one of the generic formats. You usually can find information regarding accepted formats on the printing company websites, including templates. Whatever format you use, there are terms that apply to all of them. The spacing may change, but please keep these terms in mind. Canvas Canvas refers to the piece of paper or the file that you are drawing on. Thing is, when a manga page is created, it is actually bigger than the printed version. Not only is the original actually bigger by a factor of about 1.5 or twice as big as the printed version, but it is bigger in terms of drawings. Especially with manga pages where drawings go beyond the edge of the manga, the drawings extend beyond the page, and for good reason. It is to avoid errors at the printers, such as cutting off of the pages. I will talk more about that in Trimline and Bleed. The next term is safe area or life area. The term safe area or life area refers to the center of the page. All important text and drawings should remain inside the life area so that it is not cut off or disappears inside the binding. Margin area. The margin is the area between the safe area and the trim line. Generally, this area remains free of drawings or texts, unless you deliberately want to extend your panel beyond that for effect or to give a panel more importance or to create a spread where the drawings fill the page beyond the printed area. Remember, you should definitely avoid placing any text inside the margin area. Trim line. Trim line refers to the edge of the page. It is the part where the page is cut off at the printers. Everything outside will be cut off. Bleed. Bleed is an additional area outside the trim line that is planned in when creating a file for printing. Especially with drawings that go beyond the trim line, you have to draw them at least 3 mm outside the page that is in the scaled down version for printing or at least six millimeters when your original is twice as big as the printed version why because the cutting machine might make a mistake and cut unevenly so if you do not draw beyond the trim line into the bleed it will result in wide borders if you draw into the bleed even if there is a slight mistake in cutting it will not be as obvious personally i generally draw a centimeter or so into the bleed so that i have more to work with even page and odd page if you want to work for a certain publisher it is important to be familiar with the printing system for instance, some publishers begin the first manga page, that is not including the covers and illustrations, on an odd page, while others begin it on an even page with a double page spread. Things like that are important to know when you are planning spreads. It is important to imagine how the pages will look when printed, when the readers will have to turn the page so that you can arrange the reading flow accordingly. Which is why I generally work with spreads instead of single pages. Spread or double page. Spread refers to a double page in manga. They are usually drawn together when you have a panel that spreads over two pages, but you can also use it when designing normal pages. Personally, I often use A3 as a canvas and draw my pages as double pages, which gives me full control of the paneling. 